So many of you guys have emailed me this video and after I looked into it, there's not a lot of truth and honesty to this story. Whereas with my business, what's happened over the past few weeks, I've showed video proof of them raiding my business, documents, all the meat that was lost. This, it's just people talking about it. And a lot of this fear mongering about the food supply is really just a psyop to keep people in a negative mindset. The elites in control, they can give you food, they cannot give you food. It's all kind of said and done for. They just want people to be afraid. And this video uh, from Off Grid with Doug and Stacy has almost 2 million views. Uh, the fishy thing initially to me was a stranger making a video about an Amish farmer. Amish don't even use electricity, let alone internet, cell phones. Yet this guy is defending and promoting the Amish man's business. I mean, that's enough for me to know they're in the club, but let's go a little further into it. So, is this a publicity stunt? You know, where was everyone to defend my business when I had legitimate proof of what was happening to me? No one cared about Frank Tefano. Why does no one ever stand up for me? What's even more disingenuous is this guy is dressed up like an Amish person using a camera posting on YouTube. How much of an actor can you be? It's literally in the Amish commandments not to photograph or record yourself. So what's this actually about? Amos Miller's organic farm was allegedly raided by the USDA and FDA just like I was. Difference is this guy has been illegally selling meat for like 5, 10, 15 years. God knows how long. How long has this guy been doing this? He's made millions of dollars selling meat that has not been federally inspected. I've never sold any, any. And now he's making up a sob story and having his buddies promote him so he gets more business. Is that what's going on here? Amos Miller says he's being persecuted by the federal government for practicing his religious freedom to raise and prepare food the way he believes God intended food to be raised and prepared in accordance with nature. Uh, just to explain to you guys the logistics of how you're supposed to sell that type of meat, it's through a private membership association. So you have to sign up to their website, log in to see and purchase the products. But they're not supposed to be retail cuts direct to consumer. So despite having the paywall, the membership to log in, you're still not supposed to sell like steaks, ground beef, etc. It has to be a share. So the customer is supposed to purchase the live animal before it's slaughtered and then the meat is distributed. That's not what he was doing. He is not adhering to the protocol that the USDA, FSIS, all these nonsense government organizations want. I was doing that with my meat and they still seized it. Miller previously agreed to use a federally inspected slaughterhouse to process his meat but stopped because he objected to its use of antimicrobial citric acid. Miller argues that regulations and inspections make food less safe, not more safe. You guys like my Amish voice? I have to talk a little slower, but I think I'm, I'm pretty close. So I thought the date on that article was incorrect. It, it said like June of 2021, which is over a year ago, but it's not. And that was the article that was linked on that 2 million views YouTube video. <laughs> So it's a little bit fishy to me that after what happens to me, this guy makes this video almost as if they were trying to steal attention from what was happening to me. Because what happened to this guy was not recent. It was not recent. It's very, very strange. Very strange. So yeah, he's right that certain regulations make food less safe. But citric acid spray is not a requirement for USDA slaughter. The carcass can be sprayed with just hot water. So that either shows that he's lying or that he has very little knowledge of USDA inspection. And this guy has his own farm property, has made so much money with his business, he can definitely afford to have a slaughterhouse under federal inspection. The only reason I can think that Amos Miller doesn't want his meat to be inspected is that he's slaughtering animals that are older than 30 months. He's getting cheap, old dairy cattle, yeah, the meat's still healthy, but it's usually pretty lean, it tastes bad, it's inconsistent. The problem is, once the animal is over 30 months, 
the USDA requires the removal of the brain and spinal cord from the carcass. Since all of the steaks, the expensive cuts, a lot of the meat run along that spinal cord, it really ruins uh, the whole slaughter process. That's my only guess and that seems to be what the issue with him having USDA slaughter is, is that um, he's killing older dairy cattle and he's making a lot of money on the meat, but uh, he wouldn't be able to do that in the USDA slaughterhouse as he's currently doing it. What struck a nerve with me, as if this millionaire Amish guy needs any more money, <laughs> he made over 100000 on GoFundMe. You know what would happen to me if I made a GoFundMe? The same thing that happened to my Kickstarter years ago, if you guys remember. They took it down and stole the money. The fact that he's getting all of this publicity, he's allowed on GoFundMe, which is an elite-owned platform, they're allowing him to raise the money, is an indicator that something about this situation isn't truthful or honest. There wouldn't be a YouTube video with 2 million views linking an article from over a year ago and then they make a GoFundMe. It, none of it makes any sense. And yeah, there are other farms that are doing this, but this guy, Amos Miller, sure loves playing the victim, this fake acting BS, and getting his buddies to promote him, and the viewers eat it up and send him money. There is no scenario where strangers online defend your business and get millions of views. That should have happened 10 times over for what has been done to me. Basically, every week I've been trying to operate my business. So stop sending me this fucking video, guys. It's pissing me off watching these scammers pull this bullshit, you know? None of it's legitimate. And now, after analyzing all the details, I'm convinced, you know, that the timing of that was, was no coincidence. They saw that I was struggling with that. They thought, hey, if we make a video and, distract, and take the attention from Frank Tofano, what's happening to him, we're going to get the attention. And the, the timing is all off because none of those articles line up with anything recent and there's no proof or documents or any video footage of anything happening. So whatever, go figure. If you guys take anything away from this video, it's that these people are liars. They're liars, they're liars, they're liars. They will lie and deceive. And unless you know what they are and what they're doing, they usually get away with it.